Well, raise your hand if you're thoroughly disenchanted with our little pleasant Earth vacation. Welcome back to the channel, and today we have our second Autobot battle. In this Autobot battle, we have two very different Autobots. Unlike Hound vs Ironide, who had similarities in the previous battle, which you can catch on my YouTube channel in the description box below. Today, we have Bumblebee vs Crosshairs, and these two have no similarities, bar maybe one. B and Crosshairs both have the potential to be the leader of the Autobots, or at least the second in command to the great Optimus Prime. In Transformers Age of Extinction, when Optimus Prime set off in search for his creators, it was up to Bumblebee to take charge of the Autobot stronghold, but not without a challenge from Crosshairs. So which one would win in an Autobot battle? Let's take a look first at Bumblebee. <laughs> Bumblebee has been on Earth a lot longer than Crosshairs, which we established in Transformers The Last Night. And during World War II, B found himself caught up in the war with fellow Autobot Hot Rod. Bumblebee is not the strongest or most powerful of Autobots, but he is one of the bravest and would gladly risk his own life to protect others. This could be seen as a weakness, particularly with Crosshairs, who only cares about himself. Bumblebee does not have the most extensive weaponry either, but it does pack a punch. Just ask Quintessa. B has blown away numerous Decepticons with his arm cannon, but will he be able to add a first Autobot to his hit list? If this battle goes to the streets, it could be where Bumblebee excels. With his Camaro alt mode, we have seen B sting Barricade twice in the Transformers movie franchise. Once in Transformers 1, and again in Transformers The Last Night. So let's weigh up the facts. If this battle was to take place on Earth, Bumblebee would have the home advantage, having arrived on Earth prior to World War II. But is B still an Autobot of war? Does he still have it in him? Now let's take a look at Crosshairs. Yes, I've been waiting for them all to dispatch each other so I could take charge with no trouble at all. Just me reporting to me. Our first look at Crosshairs was in Transformers Age of Extinction and it's safe to say he is the complete opposite of Bumblebee. For starters, he can certainly run his mouth, and Crosshair's primary objective is to look after himself over any human or Autobot, and this makes him a dangerous individual. As Autobots go, Crosshair's is a jerk, and lacks respect for his fellow Autobots, and that includes their great leader, Optimus Prime. In Crosshair's mind, he is simply waiting for the moment that he can take charge. Is Crosshair's really that good? He certainly thinks so. His mouth backs up his mindset, and he's a dead shot when it comes to taking out Decepticons. The paratrooper would enjoy nothing more than taking this battle to the sky, and it would be an area of strength against Bumblebee, but it's highly unlikely that the battle will take place there. The alt mode of Crosshairs is a Corvette Stingray. However, we have not seen his alt mode skills in action. The best we got was to see his defense evading Galvatron in Transformers Age of Extinction. In Transformers Dark of the Moon, Bumblebee had no issues dispatching of an opponent during a chase. This was proven during the highway battle against the Decepticon Dreads. Crosshairs has a high opinion of himself, but in an Autobot battle, his ego could get the better of him. And just how good is Crosshairs in combat? This is an unknown in the Transformers movie franchise. Being a dead shot may not be enough. So who would win this Autobot battle? Let me know your decision in the comments section below. But for me, I am going with... Bumblebee. There is simply too much uncertainty around Crosshairs to know if he can stand up to Bumblebee in combat. For me, the battle would be ground-based, as B is highly unlikely to take this to the sky. 
an area which the paratrooper Crosshairs excels in. In a shootout, it would be a close call, but arm to arm combat, I'm with B all day. Even Lockdown was surprised by B's skills. I believe B's advantage in this area would force Crosshairs to retreat, transforming into his Corvette Stingray alt mode and although Crosshairs might be able to evade the Autobot Protector at first, I feel the inevitable will come for Big Yeller to sting like a bee. So there you have it. I side with B in the Autobot battle. Which Autobot do you think will stand and which one will fall? Let me know via the comment section below your winner of this Autobot battle between Bumblebee and Crosshairs. And if you have not done so already, check out the very first Autobot battle between the two weapons specialists, Hound versus Ironide. That video is on my channel right now. All that's left to be said is get involved by the comment section below. This is Delzinski for another Autobot battle. Signing out.